What's up, bloggers? I am here on YouTube today coming at you with a SmarterQ review, a complete tutorial for the social media management and automation tool. I have completely switched over. I used to use Buffer. Now I'm on SmarterQ full time. I couldn't be happier with the price, I couldn't be happier with the features, and we're going to walk through it all right now. Okay, I guess this should take a 12 second pause and tell you what SmarterQ is for those of you who don't know. So this is a way to create a queue of social media posts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all those platforms where you can schedule them in advance and then even have them repost automatically. Some little things like, uh, you know, Buffer here and Hootsuite, they don't have automatic sharing. They don't have evergreen recycling of content, so to speak. Meet Edgar is by far the most popular one that does. The only problem with Meet Edgar is, click over here to Meet Edgar pricing and it's 50 bucks a month. Now that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things, but not all bloggers have that sort of money, which is why I prefer SmarterQ. SmarterQ is way more affordable and you get to pick and choose exactly what kind of features you want to use. So here it is, the smartest way to do social media probably, the way to do social media probably, properly, not probably, sorry about that, smarter you. Anyways, okay, here is inside my dashboard. Let me walk you through the single best thing first of all. If you don't watch the rest of this video, you should know why SmarterQ is so powerful. Actually, two or three reasons, but the best one, in my opinion, is evergreen content recycling. Whenever I add a blog post or a YouTube video or a podcast episode to my SmarterQ queue, it automatically adds it back to the end of the queue after it shares it. So after I share it, it automatically adds it back to the end of my queue. It's amazing. So every post gets shared automatically. I don't have to do anything with management. You get things set up, you get your content in here, you set a schedule, and then you just go. It is automatic blog marketing. It's amazing. So that's the very first powerful thing. The second powerful thing that I love about it is analytics. I'm gonna show you this stuff in just a second, but their analytics are really powerful, really detailed, and very useful for analyzing which of your profiles does best, what kind of tweets do best, what kind of blog content performs best, Etc. All that said, let me walk through right here and review these things. Step number one is adding your content to SmarterQ. When you first log in here, there's not going to be anything here. This is my queue, as you can currently see. There wouldn't be anything here, so you'd have to add it. Add content. You can see it drops down right here. The best way, in my opinion, the most fun way, is to add it via RSS. I love this feature. So if I were at doyouevenblog.com, I can hit this, it will fetch all of my posts via RSS. And you can also do this for your friends' sites, by the way. If you routinely share other people's content, you can just save them as a source right over here. Look, I got like Keep Thrifty and Pro Blogger and Millennial Money Man, Making Sense of Sense, and a dozen others in there that I can just click on. I can see all of their posts right here from my dashboard, and then I can share it. I could share the link or I could share a full post. I'm gonna just hit share link and then it brings up my share menu. We'll walk through what these are in just a second, but it's really easy to add content to your queue right from inside the dashboard. I love that. If you don't want to, or if you're, let's say you're reading someone else's blog, like doyouevenblog.com, and you wanna share straight from their website, they actually have this really cool feature. You can add it as a bookmark. I just added it to my bookmark bar up here. So, oh, here is my latest episode. I wanna add this to my queue but I don't have to go to SmarterQ to do it. I can actually add it right here through this little link. And you can get this from your dashboard, by the way. You click it and it brings up the same little share box for everything else. Also, if you have a CSV you wanna bulk import, you can do that as well, but let's be, faith, let's be honest, whoever does stuff like that, no one. You can also just add a brand new post right here at add a post, like completely blank. You can choose your category first. Again, we'll hit this in a second and then you would be able to choose your profiles that you want to share to, and then the content. You can add media, all that great stuff right from there. Okay, switch gears, profiles. So you have to attach which profiles you want to share to, obviously. The LinkedIn, I think they're adding Pinterest and Instagram soon. Uh, that's in the works. But right now they have Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus and all, the, all that great stuff. 
You come in here and you connect your social profiles and your bit.ly account, which is completely free by the way. This gives a whole ton of analytics and it shortens your URLs, it's amazing. You connect those, you're good to go. You can see I have my Facebook, I have a Facebook group, I have my Twitter, I have a client's Twitter profile, and my Bitly account. So easy. Okay, after your profiles are attached to the SmarterQ account, you set your categories. If you have different topics that you blog about or different blogs altogether or whatnot, you can kind of organize this any way you see fit. I'll show you what I have. Then you can, you can do as many categories as you want, I'm pretty sure, and you're gonna be adding those different categories to different time slots. It's super easy. I have, do you even blog content? I uh, chose the blue color, because that's my brand. You know, exclude or include specific profiles per category if you wanted to, I just kinda leave them all open. And you can see some stats down here. I have a client as one of my categories. I have other people's stuff, other bloggers stuff that I routinely share, that I, I like, I read, I find interesting, I just add them. I have a whole separate category for that, and I have just random comments or thoughts or funny things I find, as well as my own content. So those are my four categories I have set up here. You can change the colors, it's super easy. Just pick your things. If you have sponsored posts, that could be a separate category. You never know. Okay, the last step in setting up your account uh, is just creating your schedule. So I'm gonna unselect all my profiles right here, just for a second. When you first sign up, I can't show you this right now because I already have all my profiles. When you first sign up, and you attach your profiles, there'll be a huge message right here that says, analyze accounts and add time slots. It's amazing. What it's gonna do, it's gonna go through your history of your Twitter account or your Facebook page or whatever, even before you signed up for SmarterQ, by the way, and analyze it and automatically like average out and add time slots to your schedule. It's amazing. Do that, by the way. Don't start from scratch. Just a waste of time. But, of course, you could start from scratch. You can see the little plus sign as I hover over all these times. You can also choose your category, other people's stuff. I could maybe select this profile right here, and then I could drag onto the schedule if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now. But that is pretty much it. You are going to want to pick which times of day you share what types of content. Does that make any sense? All the blue ones are my content. Do you even blog content? I have other people's stuff shared periodically throughout the day and I have random comments throughout the day and week as well. I could also look at my Facebook, like here's my Facebook, not quite as much as Twitter, but other people's stuff, some random comments. You just set your schedule and then leave it. You can come back and optimize later, of course, but you just set your schedule and then add in content and it recycles automatically baby, it's amazing. So that's pretty much the setup process in SmarterQ. It really is pretty easy. You attach your profiles, you set some categories if you want to for some different types of content or different blogs that you manage or whatever, and then you add all of those categories to your schedule. You pick out the time slots you want, you add them in there, done, done, and done. The only thing left after that is adding content, which we kind of already talked about. You import it straight from here, you import it via RSS, or you share it straight from your SmarterQ thing right there. So now that we've kind of understood the setup process, I'll show you this again. So I'm on this blog, I really want to share this post, add it to my queue. I would say, oh, this is my content, I'll do that. I want to share it to Facebook and Twitter. Let's see what we got right here. So this is what gets shared on Facebook. Obviously this is what's on Twitter. Bulk edit text posts. This is really cool. So I could actually just leave this to yes, click that, and then it's actually editing both at the same time. Or you could edit them individually just by clicking no. Easy. Once you add links, or from here, the link is already in there, you can see. It'll use this like little short code thingy right here. Two brackets, link, two brackets. It's just sharing this link right here. It makes it a little bit easier to get through and it actually won't show this link, it'll show your bit.ly link. You can change that if you wanted to in the settings, but I would always leave it. So I'm gonna edit this, I can add in some notes, blah, blah, I can tag people. I wanna tag uh, at our next, uh, there it is, our next life. You can see how that popped up, pretty cool. Thanks. Excellent, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. You can also come down here and make this a text only post. Uh, you could add media. If you just wanted to share a picture and then have the link like in the actual uh, social media post, you could do that too. Or you could use a link preview. Like you see this on Facebook, this is what it would look like. On Twitter, this is what it would look like, a little Twitter card. Well, let's say, I don't really want the Twitter card. I want the whole image, the big image right there. I could do add media and check out what it brings up. You can choose an image from this very page. I'm gonna click that. There are my images. I could choose this, add to post, and now it's gonna be that plus whatever is written up here. So it'll be the full image, 
You can also upload an image from your computer, of course, a GIF. You can upload a video if you wanted to. You can copy an image from the web. You can search for an image or search for a GIF. This is amazing. Built in right here. I'm gonna search for a GIF. I'm gonna hit Terry Crews, because Terry Crews is my man. Look at all this Terry Crews GIFs. Amazing, look at this. What is this? This is nasty. Add to post. This is the best tweet of my life. Uh, really, really powerful features. Here is the best part. Remember what I said, the best part? Evergreen content recycling. It's amazing. Evergreen content, question mark. You can have it post once if you want, and then you could add it to your queue. You could add it up next, post next in your queue. You could post it right now to your platforms. Uh, you could save as draft if you want to, or you could schedule it out sometime in the future. Like I want it to go on the 25th at 1230 PM. That's post once, or you could keep recycling over and over again, automatically requeue after posting. Now watch this, this is amazing. You could set it to expire after being posted three times. Like let's say this is an advertisement. Somebody's paying me to tweet out their stuff three times. Uh, I could have it expire after being posted three times if I wanted to, or 30, doesn't matter. Or if you have a specific date, like, oh, I only want this to run to the 25th. It'll keep recycling over and over again until the 25th and then it'll stop. It's amazing. That's it, that's the entire process, it's awesome. Last but not least, let's go back here and take a look at analytics, because I think they're super powerful. Okay, when you click in analytics right here, you see past posts, reports, weekly stats, monthly stats, analyze social profiles. I'm actually not gonna go through all of these, I'll just show you some of my favorite parts. So past posts, there's a whole lot of filtering you can do, by the way. You can also come down here and just analyze each post specifically. Like, I wanna analyze this one. This was uh, originally done a while ago. This is the third time it's been recycled. Cycle number three right there. This one only got one like, zero clicks. That's pretty bad. Where's the good ones? Can I sort here? Oh, sort by most clicks. Awesome, look at this. So this one got 67 clicks. That's a little bit better, I like that. And I could do a few things. I could do the Bitly stats page to check out a little bit more information on it right here. I could visit the original link. I could view the post on Twitter. I can view the stats per cycle. That's pretty interesting. Look at this. This is how many times it's got recycled. The very first time is when it got 67 clicks, eight likes, three retweets, and of course it's dropped off a little bit before then. It shows you the times. You can actually view the post right here. Such a powerful tool, it's insane, I love this. Total engagement, average engagement rate, it's just super powerful. You can do this for every single post you've done, it's awesome. This is literally like four times more clicks by like recycling these posts instead of just posting them once. View each post separately, you can group, evergreen post group, I wanna check out the stats, sort by most clicked. Come in here, this one got 81 clicks, that's amazing. It's gone through 11 different cycles. I wanna see the stats, view stats per cycle, look at that. That's a lot, I love it. The analytics are so powerful. One more thing, you can run reports, of course. It's the same kind of thing. You can see your number of posts, 146. Likes percentages, so when I post other people's stuff, it gets liked a lot more, go figure. When I share random comments that have links in them, it looks like it gets clicked a lot more for whatever reason, I don't know why. Images team seem to, uh, you know, get more clicks. There's just a ton of analytics to dive through right here. Engagement by hour, I can see like what, you know, hours perform best. Uh, last thing I wanna show you really quick is weekly stats and monthly stats are actually emailed to you automatically, by the way. So you just open up the email, you see how you're doing. It's awesome. Analyze social profiles. So this is really cool. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm gonna go with Twitter. Do you even blog? Uh, let's go with all time. Yeah, let's just do that. Analyze. I'm so sorry, my internet is so slow. Okay, so we're here. So I clicked analyze, analyze my entire profile and look at all this ridiculous data. Top mentions for retweets, top mentions for likes, top mentions for you know most mentioned, millennial boss, keep thrifty a lot, cryptocurrency, I got a lot of retweets for cryptocurrency, look at that. Got a lot of like likes and retweets for Frugal Woods and Jessica Morehouse and Caitlin. Post per month, the past couple of months, uh, average likes per post, average retweets per post, posting times, post insights. I can see like all these likes and retweets and oh my gosh, a ton of data. If you really want it, there it is, analytics. So that is pretty much it for the Smarter Q review. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's an amazing tool. It saves me so much time compared to Buffer, which is what I was using. I don't manage hardly anything anymore. I set it. And I, for the most part, forget it. I'll come back and analyze every month, maybe every three months. But for the most part, I just add stuff to my queue, I share it, 
It's awesome. Puts everything on autopilot. So sweet. It comes with a 14 day free trial. And if you would like a free month, instead of the 14 day free trial, you can actually use my affiliate link. I believe it's do you even blog.com slash smarter do you even blog.com slash smarter You can get a free month instead of the 14 day free trial. Pretty sweet. Great benefit for you. I get a free month as well. And I hope you enjoy it. That's it. If you like these videos, if you like blogging, if you are a blogger, please hit subscribe below and leave me a comment if you care to, but I send out a lot of curated blogging content. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you enjoy these and I'll see you in the future. Have a good day.